a perfect gas has a value of r that's a gas constant r of uh, 15.8 foot pounds per pound mass degrees Rankine and a specific heat ratio of 1.26 there is a Q added of 20 BTU which we'll convert convert into foot pounds cancel out and we get 15,560 foot pounds. B 20 BTU are added to 10 pounds of gas. That's our mass. At constant volume, okay, we should write that down. Volume is constant when initial temperature is 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's see. Initial temperature is 90 degrees Fahrenheit, which is equal to 550 degrees Rankine. We are asked to find the final temperature in Fahrenheit. So first, we know that the heat added equation is Q is equal to the mass times the specific heat constant times the temperature difference. Q is our QA, and we already have M. And now since this is a constant volume proce uh, process, our specific heat would be CV, the specific heat at constant volume. So we already have our Q. We have our M, we already have our T1, We're trying to find T2, of course we have to find our CV first. So CV can be found using this equation, by the gas constant, by specific heat ratio K minus 1. Okay, let's put that in our calculator. And we get a CV of 226.15. And yeah, we have everything we need now to find the final temperature. Well, let me just change the brush size. Okay, so we can simply start putting our values in. It's 10 pounds. It's 226.15. Uh, this has the same units as gas constant. And of course, T2 minus our initial temperature 550 Rankine. Let's go back to our calculator. 10 times 226.15 is equal to x minus, oops, 150 and that is our final temperature, 556, or well, let's just say 557 degrees Rankine, and converting that into Fahrenheit. We get 97 degrees Fahrenheit as our final answer. I hope this helped you. Consider supporting the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.